I shall wa makiyam, wa akwathiyam, kalhalayam, wa hatha pa'avath, la, abanawa yahawa, bahashim shal, malak yahawa shai, bahashim shal ha, wa kakwadash, la walam yam, wa adayam. All praises and the glory to our Father Yahweh, in the name of King Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit forever and always. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone that we will. Much love to all you brothers all around the earth, out on the highways and byways, out on the front lines of this spiritual war. Help and seal the 144,000. Ha Bayath Shao Dawada, the house of David. And we pray to be part of that number. Yahweh Rakht is our Lord willing. Much love to the helpers and friends of the prophets, of the men and women that are gonna be part of the 144,000 and the one-third. And much love to the one-third Israelites scattered all around the earth, scattered amongst the heathen nations, and even look just like these other heathen nations where they have been scattered too. And don't have the typical Israelite appearance, but they still go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the holy, royal, chosen seed line, who the kingdom of heaven, salvation, the covenants, promises, blessings, and everlasting life is only for. And much love to the one-third women and children that are going to receive salvation through a man of the Lord. And this is going to be a freestyle video where I'm not going to pull out scriptures. I'm just going to go off the top of my head. And this is titled, Moab is getting fucked up. This is beautiful. This coronavirus is still spiraling out of control. And I, I went to a Walmart today. And this is what I seen. <laughs> this was a picture I took at Walmart. I seen two filthy ass mobites wearing mouth masks. Ain't that beautiful? Look at those ugly ass mobites. And guess what? Them wearing mouth masks ain't gonna stop them from getting the virus. And guess what? There's already people over here in America that are dying from the coronavirus. And guess what? These cases are non travel related. So, I'm going to show you. Traveling back and forth, like, I mean, the, the coronavirus has nothing to do with traveling back and forth. That's how you know it's a pestilence. It, it, it's, th those are death angels. It don't matter how much you want to sanitize yourselves or how much you want to prep. If your Yahweh Shemeshai wants you to die from a disease, then you're going to get that disease. Yep, that's why Yahweh Shem Yahshai said in Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, he said, such as are for death to death, such as are for the sword to the sword. Yep, so Yahweh Shemesha already has appointed deaths for all these two thirds devils and heathens. So, guess what? They're trying to say, oh, um, try to limit your travel, try not to go to overseas. But guess what? You got people that aren't even going to China still dying. That's how you know that these are plagues from on high. This is divine judgment. And we're going to keep seeing more of it. And you know what's crazy, too? Like, that area you see them in, that's the bread aisle, right? When I was at Walmart, I had a, I went to go grab some chocolate bars, some caramel chocolate bars. And then when I went back, they were still in that area. And then they walked out and they went past me. And then I seen that bitch, I seen those two mobile women smiling. Like, bitch, your people are dropping dead by the hundreds of thousands. And you're fucking laughing. And I, I hope they die next. I hope they drop dead next. I'm tired of these filthy ass heathens. Yeah, I don't feel bad for these heathens. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I wish that, I wish, I wish both those bitches would have dropped dead in Walmart and started foaming out the mouth. I, I would have recorded that shit. Filthy ass mobites. Yeah, but for real, like th that, that time is coming where, like, as these plagues intensify, people ain't gonna want to be around these heathens. And that's how people already are. And these Moabites, they're already being discriminated against. Nobody wants to be around these filthy ass Moabites. And if you gotta leave the house, if you gotta leave the house wearing a mouth mask, knowing that you could possibly have a deadly disease, why the fuck you going on public? Shay, you, you you better hire a personal shopper or something. You better get up on that um Instacart or something and hire some personal shopper. What the fuck you doing on public, knowing damn well that you're gonna be touching fruit, touching vegetables? Um, coughing in your hands, then pressing the buttons at the self-checkout, and putting your hands on the grocery cart, touching shit and spreading this. Yeah, but, but that's these heathens, though. These heathens are filthy. And at one point, I seen both of them talking with their mouth uncovered. Like, they, they slid the mouth mask down a little bit so they could hear each other a little bit better while they were talking. Like, will you filthy-ass mobites please cover your mouth? 
But you know, you know why they're doing that? But because they want to infect other people. Just like that video I did with the mobile woman coughing on the elevator buttons. Yeah, these heathens are fucking disgusting. These heathens are nasty. Because not only... Because these heathens, right? They know that they, they know that they're going down, so they want to bring others down with them. But the elect are going to go untouched, so we have no reason to be afraid. I can't lie, I, I was a little shook at first. I'm like, yo, I ain't trying to catch that shit. But we got nothing to be afraid of. We got Yahweh by Hashem Yashah protecting us. Yahweh by Hashem Yashah said that he would deliver us from the sword. Yeah, so we don't got to be afraid of nothing. Yeah, th but th these heathens are nasty. And I, 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 I wouldn't, I bet they probably do have the coronavirus. They probably already got it. It could be in the beginning stages to where it's not too severe yet. And I, I, I bet they're on self-quarantine. And the doctor said, oh yeah, you can go in public. All you got to do is wear a mouth mask and you'll be all set. And guess what? Other people are going to get sick. But good. All, all they're doing is the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yashah on the left-hand side. Yep, and they're going to get other heathens sick. They're going to get more mobites sick. They're going to make more of these other heathens drop dead also. But the elect don't got to worry about it. And me and a brother were just talking about that too. How two-thirds are bugging out because of the virus. Yeah, so two-thirds, they have a reason to be scared because these two-thirds, they're going to die too. But us hopeful elect, we don't got nothing to worry about. Because how about Hashem Shai got us. So we're going to be all good. But for these heathens are nasty. For these heathens are filthy as hell. And that's why the time is almost up. For real. Yahweh by Shemesh is bringing more judgment upon them. For like this coronavirus is wreaking havoc. And like in, in some places already, even here in America, that they have already ran out of mouth mask. They're running out of medical supplies. Everyone's buying everything up. So people are going crazy. This coronavirus could lead to America being shut down. This could lead to martial law. This could lead to Jacob Shubble. This ain't stopping. And then they're trying to say that they got it all under, under control. No, they don't. They've been lost control. And really, they never had control to begin with. Yahweh by Hashem Yashah, he's the one that's in control. For these heathens are done. And we're going to see more of this. And very soon, it's going to get to the point to where we see these heathens dropping dead. The same way those mobites were dropping dead in the videos. When it showed their corpses in the hospital hallways. Just sitting there. Very soon we're going to see that over here. That's why it says in um, Psalms the 91st chapter. It says how 10,000 shall die at thy right hand. Yep. It says only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So we're seeing that already. But we're going to see it get more severe than what it already is. We're going to see people dropping dead left and right we're gonna see people foaming out the mouth we're gonna see people going into convulsions for real these heathens ain't talking shit now they're, they're, they're being brought down quickly these heathens are falling fast like the mirth has really gone out of this place and this is also leading to a lot of um, popular events being cancelled a lot of baseball events are gonna be cancelled a lot of sporting events, concerts, are all going to be canceled because of this. Yeah, so, Yahweh by Hashem Yashah is definitely doing his thing. We're seeing judgment on a huge level. Yeah, we're in March now. March Madness. Yeah, we're going to see some March Madness. We're going to see the anger of Yahweh by Hashem Yashai upon these heathens and these devils and these two-thirds. For real, we're seeing judgment. We've been praying for their downfall. Guess what? Now we're seeing it. Yep, and Yahweh by Hashem Yashai, he is not turning these plagues back. They ain't escaping judgment. Bro, these heathens are done with. They're not going to escape it. It's not going to stop. It ain't going to slow down. It's only going to get worse from here. You know, it's funny because I was telling a brother how I seen some mobites wearing mouth masks. And he told me where he stays. He told me he's seen some mobites wearing mouth masks. Yep, so very soon we're all going to be seeing this. 
Yep, and those bitches won't give me no dirty ass looks either. It's funny how these heathens are getting really humble now. Now that Yahweh by Shemeshah's fucking them up, now they want to be extremely humble. But guess what? It's too late for all that. Yep, y'all wanted to enslave the children of Israel. Y'all want to take us in captivity, remove our nationality. And y'all want to do blackface. Y'all want to make parodies about us. Guess what? Y'all ain't doing that shit now. Nope. N now y'all want to be humble. Now, y now you want to get along. Nope, it's too late for all that. Nope. The scriptures say, I will bless those that bless thee, and I will curse those that curse thee. You heathens have cursed us for 500 years. So, so guess what? You are going to be cursed for a thousand years. It's time up for all of you. You heathens are done with. For real. Yo, I, I, I don't want these heathens nowhere near me. These heathens are fucking filthy and they're disgusting. For real. Yo, one brother was telling me, right? Um, one brother was telling me how in his area... There's like a lot of um, Afghanistani restaurants. And he told me like in their restaurants, they only cook with their right hand. You want to know why they only cook with their right hand? It's because in, in, um, in their country, their culture, they believe that using toilet paper is unclean. So they wipe their ass with their bare hands. Yep, they wipe their ass, they, they wipe their ass with their left hand using no toilet paper. So they only cook with their right hand when it comes to like um, mixing up food, like making bread, stirring something, grating cheese. That's fucking disgusting, right? These heathens are fucking nasty. These heathens are nasty. For real, these he yo, oh my gosh. And I still gotta do a video on that other. I still gotta do a video on that video that that um brother sent me. Where she had this mobite, she took a giant ladle. The handle had to be like 20 feet long. And she would, she would put it into a sewer. And she would get the nasty slop out of the sewer. All the shit, piss, and bodily fluids mixed together. And she would make cooking oil out of it. And these are the people ruling over us. For real, like, th this really is a nightmare being in this captivity. This really is worst case scenario. These heathens are fucking disgusting. Bro, we gotta get the kingdom of heaven. These heathens are so nasty. For real, these heathens are less than animals. Yo, but, but that's why when the kingdom comes, we're gonna beat the laws, statutes, and commandments into them. The same way they beat their ways to us, we're gonna beat our ways into them. Yeah, we're gonna do double to them. Yep, yeah, they're gonna be speaking Hebrew. They're gonna be wearing fringes. They're going to follow all of our customs. They're going to keep the Sabbath. They're going to keep our holy days. Yep. And we're going to mock them too. The same way two-thirds are so brainwashed that they celebrate the holidays and the celebration days of their oppressors when it comes to Thanksgiving, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, St. Patrick's Day. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to beat our ways into them. So guess what? When these heathens celebrate Passover... They're going to be celebrating their own downfall. And in the kingdom, there's going to be new holy days. And these heathens, they're going to be celebrating it. They're going to be trying to get drunk. They're going to be tearing shit up. But guess what? They're going to be celebrating their own downfall. The same way our people celebrate their own downfall. Yeah, all the curses are going to be multiplied upon them. Yep, in the kingdom, we're going to mock them. The same way they do blackface, in the kingdom, we're going to do pillface. Yep, in the kingdom, we're going to make up new parodies. In the kingdom, we're going to do chink face. <laughs> we're going to do slanted eye face. We're gonna, everything's going to be turned around. Yep. In, in the kingdom, we're, we're going to do giant displays, and we're going to do concerts and stuff where they get on stage and make a fool out of themselves. Yep, the same way our people shuck and jive. The same way we got Kevin Hearts now. Well, guess what? In the kingdom, it's going to be the same for them. See, but at least our people, even though they may be funny, even though they say some dumb shit when it comes to kissing Esau's ass, our people at least get paid for it. But in the kingdom of heaven, when they make fools out of their own selves, they're not going to get paid shit. 
it don't matter how it don't matter how funny they are, how much talent they have, they're still gonna be broke. They still ain't gonna have shit. Yeah, everything's about to be turned around. These heathens are all gonna pay. All these heathens gotta go down. Yep, it's too late for reparations. We don't want your reparations. We don't want your sorries. We don't want your apologies. We don't care about none of that. We want your blood. We want your soul. We want you to work to death. We want you to build up our kingdom. Yeah, we want your blood, sweat, tears. We want your oppression, enslavement. Yeah, we want to rule over you for a thousand years and meditate terror upon you. That's all we want. The kingdom of heaven is our reparations. This season's about to go down. And they know the time is up. Like, the mirth in this place is really gone. And they can feel it. And nothing ain't the same no more. TV shows ain't the same. The music ain't the same. Concerts, the award shows, ain't nothing the same no more. Everything is dead. The BET Awards, Grammys, the Nickelodeon Awards, Emmys. Everything is dead. The, the spirit has really left this place. Uh, America is way past its golden age. Those days are long gone and it ain't never coming back. For real, this place is done for. We're witnessing the end of a queendom and we're witnessing the beginning of a kingdom. Yeah, th this devil, he knows his time is up. And it's beautiful. And they can't do nothing to stop it. It's about to be our turn to rule. Yeah, so we're about to be up out of here. Yeah, filthy ass mobites. Thinking that some mouth mask is gonna stop them from getting a sickness. That ain't gonna do shit. I, I, I pray those fucking filthy ass mobites drop dead. For real. Those ugly ass bitches. Yup, for real. These heathens are done for. Shit, as we built up this place. They come over from their third world countries, living in mud huts, living in houses made of tin, walking around barefoot, stepping in shit, walking in landfills, having to collect bottles just to get money and cash them in, recycling them for five cents a bottle. And they want to come over here and they act like they're better than us. But not anymore. Y'all buy shit, man, shots humbling them real fast. Yeah, so we definitely got to keep praying because our prayers are being heard for sure. This is it for them. Yeah, but I can't wait till we start seeing them drop dead over here. And that's going to be the best. We're already, seeing the other, we're already seeing the plagues hitting these other places hard. And guess what? When it comes to Babylon, that's, what's, that's when it's going to hit the hardest. For real, these people are going to buckle so bad. Especially when that famine comes. Because when that famine comes, not only is there going to be a shortage of food and water, there's also going to be a shortage of medications, medicine. So these people are going to have their anxiety medication. They're not going to have their anger, their anger management medicine. They're not going to have their bipolar medication. Yo, so these people are going to snap and go crazy. Because people are so used to luxury here. Having, having hot water. Having running water. Having a bed, having heated blankets, heat, air conditioning, having cars. So when all this is gone, when EMP comes and when food shortages come and when stores shut down, your people are going to flip the fuck out like we never seen before. And only the elect are going to have abundance. Everyone else ain't going to have shit. And guess what? We don't got to worry about prepping or storing up food either. Because guess what? These doomsday preppers, they're already doing it for us. Yep. So whenever you see an Edomite at Costco or BJ's or Sam's Club, and you see them with two thousand stuff, I mean, when you see them with two thousand dollars worth of stuff in their carriage, smile at them, say thank you, because that's all yours right there. Yep. They're getting everything we want. We're gonna have venison. We're gonna have buffalo meat. We're gonna have elk meat, moose meat, lamb. We're gonna have beef jerky, dried figs, dried kiwi. Bananas, fruit bowls, fruit smoothies, wheat grass. We're gonna have incense. We're gonna have tuna casserole. 
We're gonna have homemade. We're gonna have homemade hamburger helper from scratch, not out the box. Yeah, we're gonna have all that stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be having stews. We're gonna eat. Really, we're gonna eat very good when Jacob Shovel comes. Yeah, so we don't gotta worry about none of that. Yeah, how about Shimashai? He got everything we already want. Yeah, we're gonna have blueberry lemon cake. We're gonna have cinnamon rolls. We're gonna have all that stuff. All of our favorite foods, we already got it ready. You have chicken alfredo. With some diced carrots. With some broccoli. And some grape tomatoes. All the food we want, that's already ready for us. Yeah, so beginning on this side, we're gonna be we're gonna be getting down when our hell breaks loose. Yeah, how about Shimisha said that we're gonna be merry. During the worst time ever, we're gonna be merry. We're gonna be happy, we're gonna be smiling. We're gonna be laughing at destruction and famine. Yeah, so we don't gotta worry at all. We're gonna be all good. And these last days, we're not gonna have to walk around with no mouth mask. Look, if these heathens are walking around with mouth masks, and they're taking all these precautions to not get sick, and they're still dropping dead. Th those two bitches in that picture, they're still gonna drop dead. But we don't gotta worry about that. Y'all buy shit, and shot got us. Everything's gonna be all good. Y'all buy shit, and shot's with us 144%. For real. Everything's gonna be all good with us. We just gotta have faith and believe that. We made it this far and we're still going strong. So, how about Shimashad's gonna be with us all the way, Yahweh Ratazza? For real. Yahweh Ba Shimashad, he gives us our daily bread. Yo, and that's a spirit too, because they're in the bread aisle. Yep, so Yahweh Ba Shimashad, he gives us our daily bread. So, we're gonna have everything we need. We're the only ones calling upon you, how about Shem Yashai? So that means that we gotta be the only ones that are gonna be getting delivered, cause ain't no one else putting their faith in you, how about Shem Yashai? Everyone else, they put their faith in their system, their jobs, they put their faith in Esau, they put their faith in their careers, their 401ks, their pensions, their retirement, and that's all gonna fail them. But you, how about Shem Yashai will never fail us. Yup. Yahweh by Hashem he never despises us for calling upon him, and he never leaves us confounded. Yahweh by Hashem that's music to Yahweh by Hashem ears when we pray to him. Yep, so guess what? He's going to deliver us, and we're going to be safe, and he's not going to leave us hanging, and he's not going to forsake us. Everything is going to be all good. So I pray that all this is edifying, just a little short video. I, I really wanted to share this. I was like, wow. I was like, yo, let me record this right here. Yep, these heathens are done with. We're going to keep seeing more judgment. So I pray that all this is edifying. I pray that all this was faith boosting and spiritually uplifting. And with that, I want to say shalom and peace.